working on a 2004 Volkswagen Passat with a 1.8 turbo. Customer complaint is a check engine light and an extended crank. Let me crank it over for you. Said it takes multiple attempts. So uh, let me take you to the scan tool, see what kind of trouble codes we have. And we are looking at a camshaft position sensor G40, not a plausible signal. So a PO341, no signal, no communication. Um, I guess it could be possible. Uh, no cam signal, the vehicle will still run. Um, so maybe the first thing we should check is see if we have a cam signal. All right, so I'm hooked up to my cam sensor uh, signal wire. Uh, as you can see, we do have a cam signal. Just one of those little jumper harnesses. And uh, it looks like somebody was in here and put a cam sensor in it. Um, I did put a fuel gauge on this. Uh, that is that is good at three and a half bar. Um, I was just trying to eliminate a bleed down issue. There is no bleed down in fuel pressure, so um, we do have a cam signal. So now what I want to do is hook up to my crank. I will get a cam crank waveform off this car. That seems to be the uh, usual lately so uh, I'm gonna get a cam crank off this car and hopefully be able to find a known good one to compare to Uh, one more thing to mention on this is that the way that this engine is timed, uh, this camshaft is the exhaust cam and that is timed with the crank. But back here, there's a chain drive that connects the intake camshaft to the exhaust cam. So it is possible that our mechanical timing could be on on our exhaust cam, but we could have an issue back here with the chain. So I'm just keeping that in mind right now and it is the intake cam that is monitored for this position sensor. So I'm just keeping that in mind right now um, onto the cam crank waypoint. Back here hooked up to my crank sensor. This is a VRS style. Um, I'm basically just using the ground through my cam sensor and I'm able to get a signal zoom in a little bit we'll let that buffer go through a little bit stop it we can zoom out so sweet now we have a cam crank waveform we do need a known good to compare to it's the only bad thing about doing this testing or using these signals um, we definitely need a known good. So now what we're going to do is save this. Um, maybe look at IATN, see if we can find a known good somewhere. Um, try to do a couple more tests because uh, I don't have a known good right now. So just another simple check. Putting this top dead center. I got my mark lined up on my crank. And my cam is pretty much lined up too, so that would tell me that mechanically this this is in time, but you, what we need to remember is the way that this is set up. So my exhaust cam is in time and we still have a chain drive that we need to worry about back here. So. 
could be an intake cam timing issue. I have a normal vacuum gauge or regular vacuum gauge hooked up to my manifold. I'm suspecting, you know, if there is an issue, see my gauge is fluctuating a bit. Um, it is a little low. Now, I'm looking at this inner number right here, so 18 inches of vacuum. It's a little low. I'm used to seeing maybe 20, 21. A little bit lower than normal. And it is fluctuating a little bit. So that could be an indication of you know, an intake cam timing issue. So I have my, I have a PV350 pressure transducer installed to cylinder number one. I just want to see if we can see anything. Um, the only issue is that I'm not sure how to calibrate it, so my scales are going to be off. But um, this should, this is going to show me um, valve openings and closings, and you know, hopefully, if there's an issue, we should be able to see something. So let me see if I can get this thing started up. Right now, I'm just zoomed in really close. I'll zoom out. I get my fifty PSI, that's too low. Yeah, scales are not too good on this, but I'm just going to zoom in real close. Let that buffer run a bit. Stop it. We got a bunch of cylinder openings and closings. Not sure about that little thick line right there, but this would be our intake, compression, power, and then exhaust. Still new at this, so I'm not sure about that little pocket right there. A bit. I'm going to turn the trigger off. Just get it out of the way. be able to see something. Should be. I don't know if this scale is going to do it. I'm going to try to get a better one. See here, two. So what I am concerned about, get these cursors off, is maybe this little pocket right here. It's the exhaust stroke. It should just swoop down into a vacuum. I'm just a little unfamiliar with this. So mechanical timing's on. 
my exhaust cam and I'm just trying to figure out a way to prove this without pulling this valve cover off outside of the cam crank waveform because I don't have a known good right now so I think right now maybe I'm just gonna have to pull this apart and do a visual and we can go from there as much as I don't want to do that I'm just not that great analyzing these waveforms yet so and how I said my scales would be off my zero line is up here which is where my peak compression would be I guess I have no choice right now but to pull this apart do a visual